If the land is taking up more carbon because forests are regrowing from changes in land use and management that happened many years ago, then the benefits of these changes are likely to run their course sometime in the near future. If the land is absorbing more carbon because plants are becoming fertilized by greater amounts of carbon in the atmosphere, then this effect is likely to saturate because plants will lack the water and nutrients needed to sustain this increased growth. Plants can't live on carbon dioxide alone. Also, warmer temperatures and longer and more frequent droughts are leading to thawing of permafrost, increased fire, forest fire, and the die-off of vegetation. All of these processes could turn the land from a net sink to a net source of carbon to the atmosphere. Exactly how land ecosystems will behave in the face of increasing carbon dioxide and climate change is unclear. If the ability of land to absorb carbon from the atmosphere decreases, this means that a greater and greater fraction of human-caused carbon pollution will remain in the air 